Stick here from JP was Jessica and welcome back to another video where today, as you can see in the title down below, I am making some mini muffins. So um I read out the recipes and the uh, I'll read out the things you've got to have like the ingredients and I'll read out the equipment so you can make this along with me at home. So first we're gonna need 60 grams of unsalted butter. So we've got some stalk here, not sponsored. Um plain flour of 280 grams of plain flour um baking powder so one tablespoon of baking powder shaky shaky and then we'll need a pinch of salt so just get your little salt thing and then we will need some caster sugar 200 grams of caster sugar so got a big thing here um and then what else do we need? We need one egg, just one, just be very careful with it. Um, this might need adult supervision if you've never really cooked before. Um, I don't know what that just was, probably something popping. Um, sorry for any background noises you might hear. We're also going to need some finely grated lemon zest. So just a grater and your lemon. And um, you can also have lemon juice. Um, it says, of course, for one juice, one juice lot of lemon, but I can't bother to squeeze out the thing. Well, obviously, you guys can at home, but I have got ready made lemon juice in there. And then um, you also need some vanilla extract, you need milk, and finally, these are chocolate chip cookies. So, we need our chocolate chips. Um, oh, and for equipment, we're going to need a saucepan, a saucepan, um, we're going to need two mixing bowls, um, we can put them here, um, we're going to need a spoon, you can use a metal spoon or a wooden spoon for this, um, we're going to need a spatula. I will get one of them out of the drawer very quickly. So, just gonna need a little spatula, SpongeBob Krabby Patty. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, little thing there. Uh, Twelve paper muffin cases. So I'm using rainbow. Um, but then we're going to need a twelve pound muffin tin, which I have got over here. Twelve holes. And um, still quite hot from the oven. My dad just cooked dinner. Anyways, um, and then we're going to need a wire rack. That's optional. Let's just cool down your stuff. All that. And we're going to need another small bowl. So I will get to one of them out of the really quickly. Um, and so this is a small bowl, I guess. We'll put that there. Um, we're going to need a pastry brush. Um, yeah, and some things it doesn't call for on the recipe, and, I mean on the equipment, but I know we will need them, are a sieve, and um, we will also need, drum roll please, for the lemon zest, we need a grater. So be careful with this at home kids. Anyways, um, so we'll get started. We heat the oven. Okay, we're not going to do that now. We're going to me carefully melt the butter in the pan over medium low heat. Not only scales. Okay, so um, you need to keep stirring. Make sure not to make sure not to stop stirring. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when we have successfully melted all of the butter. But keep stirring and do it on a low heat. Okay, and once your butter's all melted, what we're going to want to do is turn off the heat and move it off of the heat so it will still be hot but yeah so i'll move on to the okay, next so step. um now we are going to want to put the flour in but before i do that we need to grab our sieve and we can put that on the top and now we put our flour in make sure you're sieving it will just make the flour a lot finer oh i'm making a bit of a mess here but because it's a lot of flour um oopsie anyways carrying on okay um okay ah, 
Okay, so um, let's just get our sieve and knock all of the flour into just this bowl. By the way, you do not add the butter yet. We, we are letting the butter cool down on the side. And I repeat, we do not add the butter yet. That comes later in the process. But you need to turn it quite to the side. But then just keep on sifting in that flour. Don't be impatient. This takes about 20 minutes to do. I may make it look a bit faster on this video. I'm not sure how it's how long it's going to be, but don't make sure to take your time. So dooby doo ba ba. Also, by, by the way, while you're here, um, make sure to do and, and make sure to subscribe down below. I haven't really thought of, I mean, I will do an 100 subscriber special, but I'm not really sure of what um, I should do for it. So just say in the comments below what you would like to see. Say, hey, for the 100 subscriber special, I would like to see and then like blah 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 and say your thing um yeah i definitely need to clean up off this but a good a good a good cook always cleans um so good thing i'm not a good cook <laughs> no it's kidding anyway so about a tablespoon of baking powder so so about this much and we can just plonk in there Make sure not to do too much. We do want these muffins to rise quite a bit. Um, some in there. I'll wash all off myself. Um, and what else? And the salt. So um, we're just going to add a bit of salt. About that much salt. Not that much salt, but only a tiny bit. Salt is quite strong. And then what does it say? Make a wet... Oh, uh, set two tablespoons of sugar aside. And stir the rest in. Okay, so we're gonna want two tables. So I'm just gonna get out a small bowl and get two tablespoons of caster sugar in this small bowl, I'm guessing. So, um, that is not two heaped tablespoons, by the way. That it is just um like two normal tablespoons i'm guessing this thing that we're putting away is for um thing later anyway so once we've done that we're going to need to measure out our sugar so let's okay. go and now uh, according to the recipe we just yeet the rest of the sugar in um and leave the two tablespoons aside so put that back on the and stir the rest into the flour. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use an electric whisk because that might get a bit like um, I don't know. But we're just gonna get another wooden spoon and fold it all in nicely so it's evenly spaced out. And just keep on folding it. When you're cooking, you can never be. Um, Rough. You can never rush because if you rush, then the result might turn out a, a, a bit less than what you actually was expecting. So, um, we'll just fold that all over, and once that's all in, we're going to need to make a well in the center. So, um, basically, I will demonstrate now. So I will make that, make it all smooth, and we're just going to want to dig out like a big hole in it. Like say you're digging a hole, like I don't know if it's just me, but personally I like to dig a lot of holes. Hmm, not for any specific reason. Hmm, dee hee hee. Anyways, um, yeah, it's fine, this is boom, from a competition that one. Anyways, so, um... This is basically what a well looks like. You know, it's like a big hole, and I'm not sure how that looked on the camera, but it, it's basically a hole in 
the side of, I mean, in the middle of your, like, stuff. Anyway, so in a separate bowl, so we're going to put this uh, side, and grab our new bowl, empty bowl. Um, make sure, okay, so in a separate bowl, beat the egg lightly. Oh, this could get too messy. So... And so this is just an egg, this isn't the egg whites or anything, it's just the entire egg. Because I don't want to put that in there. And I'm going to go get a tissue. Because I don't want eggy hat. Um, so, I, I don't know if the camera could still see me then. Oh yeah, it could not see me. But, um, now if he got the egg in here, crush. Anyways, um, yeah, you never need the eggshell on any recipe. If you do, then I'm a bit worried on what you're making. Um, <laughs> unless it's like animal food. Or, oh my god, it's upside down and it's just spilled everywhere. <laughs> okay, um, I'll fix that later. But, okay, beat the egg until it's lightly broken down. So, we're going to need to get some whisks. I'm going to use a hand whisk for this. So it's lightly broken down, so not much, just a bit, a bit like scrambled egg, you know, when you're making scrambled egg and, and you're gonna beat down the egg, like big drop, big drop of the egg, and it should look like you're gonna make a bit of scrambled egg and you haven't added the milk yet. This is microwave scrambled egg, by the way. I'm not sure how you do it in the saucepan, I've never made it. I mean, a frying pan. I've never made scrambled egg in a frying pan and saucepan. I don't know what you make it in. That's the whole point. Anyway, so beat the egg until it's lightly broken down and mix together. Add the melted butter. So we are going to pop over where our melted butter is. Um, put the spoon on the side. And just yeet all of that melted butter into here. And once that's all... Lynn, um, we can put this back on our side, and it should look a bit like this. Just, just like you put an egg in there, and it's very yellow. Um, what's it say now? Um, add the lemon zest. So what we're going to want to do is get our little later. I'm not actually sure if this video might be longer than in the 20 minutes but i think this is the side that you grate the lemon zest on i think for lemon zest you literally just scrape it in fact so be careful but yeah you might need to ask an adult for help kids if you're younger than if you're younger than i don't know what i don't know if you if you do don't know how to cook really oh wow it's a lot of lenses okay so we're just going to get a spoon there knock it all out It's a bit yellow there. Wow, the camera really makes it look like there's a lot. That's nice. Um, anyways, that's quite bitter though because it's just literally lemon zest. Um, but we're going to get our spoon and just mix that in with in there. Or should we be using our whisk? I'm not really sure. But uh, once we've done that. What's it called for? And add the vanilla. Okay, so we're going to need our vanilla extract. Speed, one teaspoon. I like to use the lid because it basically is a teaspoon. So we're just going to fill the lid up very carefully with some vanilla extract. And then just yeet that into our egg mixture. Um, I don't advise eating this. But like a lot of recipes like cake, this is muffins by the way, not cake. Um, anyways, so, um, famous, that famous word, this is muffins, not cakes. 
anyways um so make sure you do not eat this because it will be quite strong and do not and do not try and eat the vanilla extract um raw because you know, that's very strong um but sorry sorry again for any background noises you might hear so i'm gonna add add the milk okay what was the amount of milk we've got to add so 250 milliliters wow um okay, this is going to be quite a long video but we are doing a full-on walkthrough so it might actually even be longer than 25 minutes which is the time it says i mean it does say 45 on the recipe but just saying um because like 45 just cooking times a lot but like 25 of 15 20 minutes of cooking um okay so milliliters we can just fill it up oh wow, that's a lot of milk didn't know we would need so much milk in a cake before. I've honestly never used that much milk. <laughs> well, um, I've never really made muffins before. This is my first time as well. So we're just going to eat the milk into there. And wow, that looks quite a milky mixture. Um, so, beat until foamy. Um, we're going to get our whisk. And um, we're going to beat. I mean, it is already quite foamy. But we're just gonna be quite fast. Um, do, 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 do. It should look quite a pale colour. And yeah, it's not. It shouldn't be too foamy. It should just be like, like foamy ish. So we can bang that on the side and um, yeah, pour the egg mixture into the flour. So we grab our flour over here and we pour it directly into that little well we made. So, uh, the well's a bit, okay this is too much mixture for the well but you get the idea that um, yeah. So, uh, and then mi mix it into the flour and gradually stir it into the dry ingredients to make a smooth batter. I'll be back when I've done that, and you should do it too. So I've mixed in, and it should look like that, um, I guess, or it could look something different. I don't know, but um, to make a smooth batter, yeah, it's quite smooth. Um, gently fold in all the blueberries. In our case, this is chocolate chips. So you can use um, you can use uh, blueberries at home if you wish to be a bit healthier. But I'm going to use chocolate chips. That didn't have much in that packet, but we have some in here. So we're going to, how many in here? 100 grams. I mean, it calls for 225 grams of blueberries, so we're going to put in 100 grams of chocolate chips. That seems about right to me. And wow, they are thick. Quite big. You saw nothing. <laughs> but anyway. Um, my, my excuse, you say? Uh, a chef always tastes his cooking. <laughs> and then fold it in. But mine are quite big in this instance. You don't really have to be using um, massive ones necessarily. Preferably, it's probably best to use small ones, anyways. But um, I'm just using <laughs> big ones for the sake of what I've got. So I'll just mix all that in. Um, for me, it'll probably be like. I mean, it doesn't really matter as long as it tastes nice, I guess. I'm just going to bang that right there. Bang, 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 bang. And yeah. Tasty. Um, once we've done that, okay, do not overmix when the muffins will be tough. That is not overmix. So place the muffins in the tin, muffin casing in the tin. You can spoon in the batter, fill each case 
to three quarters full. So I will be back when okay, I'm done. So they should all look like this, and then you can put them um, in the oven. 220 degrees um, on a fan oven, uh, and according to the book, what does it say? Uh, do 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 do. That 425 degrees Fahrenheit and gas number seven, depending on which oven you have. Now we'll put them and in the oven. now in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes until about golden brown. So while the um, while the cake cakes are, I mean while the muffins are cooking, we're going to get the sugar. We're gonna plonk it in the bowl, and then we're going to get our lemon juice. It's quite strong, so I'm only going to put a bit. Let's get that open. And we're just going to do quite a lot, so. Of course, we're basically a whole lemon's worth. So I'm guessing this is about a whole lemon's worth. I think that that's quite a lot, so. Um, I've got a teaspoon. And I'll start mixing. I need to partly stir until the sugar dissolves. So it's going to be quite a while, but I'll be back. That quite a short while. Just, but since we have to dip the muffins in this after, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> um, put it in the smaller bowl just to make it a bit easier to dip the muffins like face first into. Boop. Okay. So now we'll wait for the muffins to be done. Okay, so the cakes are done baking. I'm not going to dip them in the um, in the mixture, instead I'm going to brush them on with the brush. So if we can get the mixture as an example, um, I mean I don't think you guys can see it right now, but you, so what you've got to do is just get the brush and then brush it like you're painting um, and like you're painting the thing. As a hair, um, anyway, so do it like you're painting this, like your your true inner Bob Ross has come out, and yeah, so then we are going to go lay all on all of these muffins. So that's one, and um, we're coming towards the end of the video. I hope that you guys, your muffins. Like you, the viewers, you. Um, I hope that your muffins have turned out very yummy. Um, I'm not going to say thank you for watching quite yet. I mean, thank you for watching, but it is not the end. And uh, ignore any background noises you might hear from a little snake that's slivering around in the kitchen. Can I say hi? Yeah, sure. Say hi. Are you going to blow out my face? No. Why? Because I, I can't be bothered. To edit a 20 minute video. Hey guys. Hi, this is Lily. Can I be can I say hi to your fans? For, no, this is former wolf dog paws. Oh. <laughs> wolf dog paws. I remember when you always used to brag to me. Oh my god, Jacob, you have more subs I have more subscribers than you. Ah oh, now I have. Oh now I have like no, nice one. I have like well no, not yet. Have one now? No, you not yet. You can have one later. Oh, I still need to. How many subscribers have you got? Uh, 101. I think you should all go follow my Instagram. Yeah, sure, why not? Go ahead. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you good? So we're just no, of course not. But, um, I have nothing against gay people. No, not the greater. I don't know. The viewers aren't going to be entertained by the greater. Like, I doubt they're going to be entertained by me. But <laughs> but they're probably going to be more entertained by me than they are by a greater. I think you should add some music. No, I, I might in the background. Don't know. This weird man. Look. No, no, go away. No, it's copyright. Go away. No, go away. Go away. Go away. Okay. But you can't you have to give me one of them. Okay, I will. Not right now, though. Yeah. They'll burn your mouth. Sorry? They're incredibly hot. Go mm. away. Can I smell them? Yes. But not that close. They smell good. Okay, in your, okay, when you're doing it at home, please do not get your siblings to come over and smell test your muffins. 
you can smell test them yourself so we're just going to keep on glazing all of these it's been three minutes um i don't know in the future if i might speed it up but we're just going to glaze all over every single muffin here and just make sure that they're nice and shiny and we want to use up all of our lemon mixture so the more tasty the cakes are the better i mean i might uh, type in the comments below what cakes you want me to make next it doesn't even have to be a cake i can make lasagna i can make pasta i can make pizza i can make the dough from scratch if you guys want request down below and okay the the first comment below i will make first logical comment like can't be one um so it can't be a silly or inappropriate one um if it is then i'll just go with another one so yes so we're just going to paint on the last of our things make sure you do have a pastry brush at home by the way guys um yeah so again i said at start this at the start of the video but make sure to um also comment what i should do for the 100th subscriber special um I don't know, but yeah, just comment that below. Anyways, so we're just gonna paint on the last of this, and that should do it for all of our mixture. We don't want them to be incredibly lemony, but they do smell quite nice. <laughs> um, so now we are going to. Um, we're going to it says set on a wire wrap but i don't have one so i'm going to get them all out i'm going to put them on a plate and then put them on in the fridge until they successfully glaze and cool down but i'm not gonna do that on camera i thank you all so much for watching this video um i've got homework to do later um comment down below what um, you would like to see me do for the 100 subscriber special comment down below what i should bake next like subscribe turn on the notification bells bells not bell and bye